Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to catch arguments passed in the wrong order when calling a function. Continuing the discussion on calling functions, the next bug to watch out for is when a function's arguments are supplied in the incorrect order. If the arguments are different types, such as a function expecting an array and an integer, this will likely throw a runtime error. If the arguments are the same type, all integers for example, then the logic of the code won't make sense. Make sure to supply all required arguments in the proper order to avoid these issues. The function raise to power raises a base to an exponent. Unfortunately, it's not called improperly. It's not called properly. Fix the code so that the value's power is expected to be 8. So here we've got our power is equal to 9. Um, and, okay, so the, the results of this function turn out to be power, and we're console logging power. So what's this function? Well, we've got b to e. And what we want to do is say, we want to do the math. So whatever is passed in in the position of b, which is probably the base number, and then e is exponent, base and exponent. Here we're passing in exponent and base. So these are switched. Either these are switched or something else. Um, the function raised to the power raises a base to an exponent. Unfortunately, it's not called properly. Fix the code so that the value power is expected to be 8. Okay, sweet. So all they, I'm pretty sure what they want us to do here is go, we start with the base and then we go to exponent. Exponent is not found. Oh, well, what have I done? It needs to be exp, not exponent. 8. Okay, cool. And so, yeah. I think this is why I th this uh, this is one of the things I don't think that it ever makes sense to make your code just say b and e. I mean this should be base and this should be exponent. Why? So then we have to be base in here and then exponent. Why do you spell it out like this? Well, raised to the power of if you're reading this code and you're not deeply familiar with it. This reads easily. What does this function do? Oh, it takes the base and the exponent. So what do you want to do down here? You put the base and then the exponent in the right order. It's much easier than if you just do B and E, in my opinion. Anyways, I hope I didn't break the tests with that one. This is an exterior idea. This is an idea that I have about, re about writing programs that are easy to read. Instead of using B and E, write base and exponent. Spell it out explicitly. Why make it difficult? Um, but yeah, the whole thing between this is just that we needed to switch these variables. So we run the test and they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.